In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to buy your web hosting. And the web hosting is where you're actually going to have your website's home. So all of your files will be in this server, just like they would be on your hard drive. For this one, we're going to use Bluehost.com. And I'm going to actually put in a special address up here that's going to allow me to buy my hosting for a lower price. And it's www.bluehost.com backslash track backslash special bonus and I'm going to go ahead and click enter and it will take me to a certain page. This page is going to allow me to buy my web hosting for four dollars ninety five cents a month so this is a savings of two dollars a month. This will also have all of the features that come with this web hosting. It will also show you other services offered by the hosting company such as their 800 numbers, how to resell for web hosting, and how to actually use the cPanel, which is what you'll use to build your site. And then down on the bottom, we have one-click script installs. So if you want to use any of these, you would just click on them. That would be WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, etc. But for the moment, we're just going to go ahead and buy our hosting. And I'm going to click Sign Up Now. So first, you need to either tell it if you have a domain name or if you need a domain name. I actually already have a domain name, so I'm going to type it right in here. However, if you need one, this will allow you to type in the domain name, choose .com, .net, or any other ending that you want, click Next, and it will tell you if your domain name is open and if you can buy it. I already have a domain name, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And I'm going to put it in as illustrated underneath, which is just the name of my site, which is WordPress Tutorial hub.com and I'm going to click next. If I have any questions you can start right here to chat with one of their customer service representatives or you can call them at these 800 numbers. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now I'm actually going to be transferring my domain to Bluehost because I already own the domain name and the domain I own is WordPress Tutorial Hub .com. You can also choose .net, .org, .info, and .biz. Each of these additional domains cost $11.95, so you can add those on if you don't already own them. Next, I'm going to fill out the account information, including my business name if I have one, my first and last name, my street address, city, state, zip code, phone number, and email address. You can also put in your mobile phone number if you wish. If you scroll down, you'll also see that you can choose their Pro Package, which includes a faster speed, more power, and better security. Plus, it's only $19.95 a month instead of the normal price of $24.95. So you can choose that option as well. Underneath that is our package information, whether you want to start with three years, two years, one year, or if you just want to do a Pro for a 12-month price for $19.95, as explained up in that box above. We're going to go ahead and buy for 24 months. You can also choose the Site Lock Domain Security and the Site Backup Pro. To find out more information about those, you'll just click in those boxes. Again, you can read all the information about this option and chat with a live person or go ahead and call their 800 number. Finally, you're going to go down to Billing Information. It automatically will bring up the credit card information or you can click on More Payment Options and decide to pay with PayPal. I'm going to be using a MasterCard to pay for this account, so I'm going to use the drop down next to card type, put in MasterCard, and then fill out my credit card number, expiration date, and then the three number security code on the back of the card. Once that's done, I'm going to click on I confirm I have read and agree to the terms of service and cancellation policy. Always read those before you click them because you're basically giving this your signature that you've read them. I'm going to go ahead and put my information in now. Next, it's going to ask for any upgrades that suit my needs, including additional domain names, as I've discussed before. And it also includes available domains that are close to the name that I've already chosen. And if I want to search for a domain to register, I can do that as well. For the additional domain names, they're $11.95 per year. For the big sender's email attachments, this allows me to put big files into the cloud and share them through email. This goes up to 2 gigabytes. If you decide to use this service, it's $9.95 a month and you'll add it to your cart. You can also back up your Pro with the Site Backup and Restore tool, which is $12.95 a year. That could very well be worth it, especially if this is the first website that you've put together. This makes sure that you don't lose your website and that it's always backed up correctly. 
There is also a dedicated IP address that means that only one IP address is tied to your account and only your account for 30 a year. A positive SSL certificate and you'll want to use this if you're going to be doing e-commerce on your site. But this is going to give you high level encryption between the website and the end user to make sure that no one can steal their information from you or from them as the information is being put into your site or afterwards. And SEO link building. This is good if you plan on using this to network to build link building services and this allows you to choose your domain and you can click add to cart if you want that. At the bottom is your upgrade total and you can click complete. Congratulations! We've gone ahead and we've bought our first domain name. Now before we can log into the account or use the hosting features we need to create a secure password so we're going to go to create your password. As you can see there are password requirements. We need at least one uppercase letter, one symbol, one number, one lowercase letter, and at least eight characters altogether. So I'm going to go ahead and make up a password to use for this site and I'm going to enter it first here and then again below. Now you might want to write this down if you're going to be using a password that you don't usually use so you don't forget it later. Once you have your passwords in then you can put in a verification pin number and this will be six to ten digits and you'll retype it. If your pin entries don't match it will tell you and you can go in and put them in again. Once you have your passwords and your verifications matching we'll click Submit. Now it's going to ask us to enter our password and log in again and click Login. And this will take us into our cPanel. If you need help you can click on Get Started Now to take you through the process or you can click No Thanks I'm Fine and either way you can click on the box that says Don't Show This Again and choose Help or No Help. And now you're ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you for the next one.